Hey up. Whoa. So YouTube, as we know, is full of really, really good runners doing videos like this, right? But the one thing that's different with me is I don't mind telling you when I'm shagged. I am absolutely knackered. Three weeks ago, I ran 104.42 something miles. Today, I'm struggling with two miles. I cannot believe it, but I know what it is. I broke the chain. You know, I was being really consistent, did my big run, and then I've just had a couple of weeks off. And today, I feel heavy, but I know it's normal. You know, I know it's, I know it's gonna pass. I just need to get going again. Ugh. Look at that weird fungus on there. Looks like some kind of alien. Uh, it's quite funny, I've, I've been out running today and come across this lake here, this little fishing lake, and I suddenly realized, there's a house up there in the trees, I nearly moved here, I, I nearly, this, you know, we nearly took this lake on. Uh, and I didn't know, it was just down the road from my new house. Anyway, back to it. So I, I brought the chain, you know, I stopped. I should have just been even just stride now. I should have just been spinning the legs, a little bit of cycling, God forbid, on the treadmill or whatever, but I should have just kept the legs ticking over so that I didn't have this, this shock when I got back into it. But anyway, the important thing is I'm out today. I'm going to do three or four miles steady away and then and then start getting back into it oh but it is hard tell me not every run is, is good surely you know I, I watch a lot of runners on youtube and every run seems like a dream it's like whoosh, just flying along like they've got no issues and really light on the feet and fast is it just me that's a bit larder and <laughs> and struggling with this Whew, nice spot <laughs> yeah, I knew I was out of practice because, uh, well, apart from my freaking lungs burning, my legs, my legs, legs, my legs, feeling like they're made of lead. I forgot to start my watch. Ah, it's about a mile in before, before I remembered. Definitely out of practice with that after just a couple of weeks. Whew. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was already some of my events for next year uh, have been cancelled so every year i go and do some trips in sweden we throw ourselves in frozen lake live in a snow shelter learn some bushcraft you know just live off the land for a weekend and uh, it's a massive mega experience that's been cancelled one because of covid and two because of brexit you know people basically outside of europe are not going to be allowed to travel into sweden so that's going to put paid to that and then the second one is a 200 kilometer ski tour along what is called the the, uh, the King's Laden, the Kung's Laden, the Kung's Laden, King, the King's Trail in uh, in Sweden, where you're stopping in little log cabins in the woods as you ski along in the Arctic. Um, that's obviously been cancelled for the same reason. So two awesome trips that I was going to take some other people on, not going to happen this year. They didn't happen in 2021 either. So. Uh, that's a bit sad, but I've still got plenty of other trips coming up. Later on, I'm going to do a little face uh, wrong, a YouTube live detailing all the events and trips that I'm hoping to do in 21. So look out for that. Join us. We'll have a bit of a Q&A, a little bit of a get together, maybe a festive mince pie. If I allow myself to have one, I think I've had too much. So until then, just a short one, guys. If you haven't watched my latest short film, Day Release, running 38 miles for a 15 mile medal. It's on the channel, check it out. And, uh, and hit the like button, it really helps. So, see you later. By the way, it got fixed. <laughs>
Uh, the river's actually broke its bank here. So I don't know. <laughs> don't know where I'm best to cross. Don't know whether to get there and risk falling in the river itself or cut it straight across. Anyway, it looks I don't know, it looks it looks manageable, but I've got no idea how deep this is. So all I can do is go for it. Uh, cold! Very cold! Oh shit, it gets deeper here. Alright, I still see the floor. Shit, I can't. There it is. I'm across. I'm across! Oh, that is cold. That is very cold. I know there's a lot of people doing like cold water submerging stuff at the minute. The old Wim Hof. Not me! When I left the Marines, coming up to 10 years ago, I said to myself, if, I, if I'm ever cold and wet and miserable, I failed. It's <laughs> cold and wet today. They're awesome. Oh, we're on the doorstep as well, more or less. Give or take a mile. Anyway, I love running in trails like this. In the trees, and the leaves, and the wildlife. Just absolutely love it. The only thing about this one is it's not very well marked. So it could mean yet again more of an adventure. express just how much better I feel today I've been running along I've done a couple of miles already I still feel pretty relaxed and compared to yesterday that was horrendous I know I was just shaking the legs out and getting going again but even so it was hard work and if I just based this whole week on that one run it would have felt horrible I probably wouldn't have done anymore I kind of knew that it would ease off so it's good news I've got cows, I've got cows coming up. Come on, you've got to be with me. Hate cows. We've got more mud. Oh. Some of them, fucker, some of them are staring at me. Oh. I can't believe I've just come the wrong way. I've just had to stop, download the Ordnance Survey map app, um, and find the route because. I didn't have a clue where I was going. Anyway, it turns out we've got up that big steep hill for no reason. And the actual track that I want to go on is down here. So at least I can follow the track on the app now. Oh, this mud is terrible. I'm hoping it's going to clear up a bit. But actually, in a strange way, I'm really enjoying it. Today, oh God, it's getting worse, man. Jesus. Just worried I'm going to lose a trainer more than anything else. A cool little bridge. Right, let's crack on. Yeah, another wrong way. Don't know how much more of these I've got, but the good news is it's quite a steep hill and I need the hills. Got a race coming up in the mountains of Scotland hopefully next year. I'm going to get some hills in my legs. Notoriously, I've been bad on the hills. So I need to definitely improve that. So this is good. Anyway, I'm on the right track now. Round to the left. This is a really, really good trail. I love it. Guys, I'm going to leave you here now. Crack on my run. I'm really enjoying it. And I don't want to keep stopping because I'm actually on a bit of a floor despite yesterday. Maybe it's something to do with that big bag of giant chocolate buttons I've just eaten. Uh, anyway, I'll crack on and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, it really helps me and the channel and also make sure that I can keep bringing out videos like this for you to enjoy. And to all those that have subscribed, 80 odd new subscribers in the last 28 days, thank you very much. Glad you're here. Please share it with your mate.
guys so i wanted to show you this little spot here so from this vantage point called high rock in bridge north you can pretty much see across the whole of the town and it's just a great view especially when the river's flooding down there like that because you get to see just how much water is coming through this valley and obviously we've experienced some of that today in our little run it's a great little spot this is a spot where i bring uh, my boot campers sometimes just have a little snack a little walk just to get a perspective on on stuff you know so uh i love this little spot what do you think